have no fear. What we're going to go over today is we're going to go over everything that we need to do to clean your dryer to make sure that it is safe to use and it's not going to catch fire. So All right, as you can see, there's just a bunch of stuff underneath here and it's just a, a catch-all. So let's go ahead and clean up the big pieces. Next thing I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do, like I, you saw, I already disconnected it from the dryer. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this from the pipe. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that's a ton. All right, so this is one of the important reasons to go ahead and clean out this regularly. Now, I'm not saying every month to go ahead and do this, but maybe check it every six months to a year. And then you're always gonna wanna make it a habit of cleaning out the pipe that goes outside your house probably every year. Um, that way you don't have to worry about anything catching fire and your dryer is working at 100% efficiency. But look, watch. Just a bunch of random debris getting caught over time. All right, now that I got that out of the way, grabbing the shop back and go ahead and clean up all this debris and lint. use this one right here where I could shove it up into the far areas of the dryer and just kind of knock out anything that was in there and then this tool right here attaches to your drill and then you could stick that in there as well and grab all that extra debris and lint and dust on there so let me go ahead and clean that out we're gonna put this shot back on to suck it out because it's gonna make a lot of dust So now that the dryer is all taken care of on the back side, I'm gonna take this brush that has extensions and attach the extensions. All right, now that I got enough extensions attached here, I'm gonna go ahead and attach the drill and put the vacuum on and then clean it out. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take out your lint trap. You're gonna vacuum it on both sides. Then you're gonna go ahead and put the attachment on that has a narrower outlet onto your shock back. So you can put that down into the lint trap tray area. Now, also you're gonna to wanna to do is get your bristle brush that you could put down into that area as well. And then moving all around, 
up and down, all different motions, and you're able to knock off all that lint and debris that might be clinging to the side of the dryer drum. So while you do that, go ahead and grab your vacuum and vacuum it out. Now, once this step is done, you're gonna wanna also go on and vacuum the dryer vent outlet on the bottom of your dryer because whatever didn't get sucked up in the vacuum, it's gonna be sitting down on the ground. Now that the dryer has been officially cleaned, all the lint has disappeared, we have to put the flexible duck dryer hose back on. So simply just attach it to the wall outlet and then attach it to the dryer. All right, so when pushing back the dryer, just be careful not to kink the hose and kinda put the accordion back together and put it in an area where it's not gonna be damaged because then you'll be doing this project all over again in six months with cleaning up more lint. So the last thing I like to do is just go up onto the roof, find my vent for the exhaust from the dryer, go ahead and take out the mesh metal so that way I could clean it off as you could see here. Just take a brush and uh, brush over it real quick and then make sure there is no other debris that's in the vent on the flap. Go ahead and put that back together and you're good to go. That's it, it's all set, it's complete, it's good, it's clean. Again, wasn't hard to do at all. All you would need to do is get a shop back, maybe uh, that attachment that was purchased off Amazon that will allow you to get into the lint trap area and grab all that other debris and lint and dust and dander that stuck to the inside of your dryer. Uh, also, the attachment with the long hose and the bristle brush on the end that attaches to your drill it was able to get up the entire tube to the roof which was good so that way i know that entire tube is now clean sometimes you don't need to have eight or nine attachments it's just one or two right outside the back of your dryer and it goes to an exterior wall sometimes that's the best case i really do appreciate you guys watching like this is all new to me so hopefully it was entertaining i'll see you guys next time stay handy my friends bye Thank <laughs> you.